Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, we're going to see how to create app service and app service plan in Azure portal. Back to the screen. I'm on the portal. You can either click on web apps and click create on the dashboard, or you can search web apps on the top search bar and you can click on app service. Here, it will tell you what you already have. If not, just click on create and this is where we need to provide some information. The subscription is the first one that you need to choose. I have a pay as you go. I have selected that. The resource group is nothing but all the resources are grouped with one single name. So I'm going to create a new resource group, demo web app RG. So I'm going to place all my resources under the same resource group. Later, if I have to delete, I can delete the resource group. Everything will get deleted. Here, the name, you need to provide a valid name. I'm going to give a name uh, and which will be lscdemowebapp.azurewebsite.net, which is which is good. And uh, next is publish. We are going to publish your code. If it is a Docker, you can con you can choose the Docker container. And the region, I'm going to leave it as Central US. Click on the SKU, which is the plan type, right? So when I click on it, uh, I have different options here, F1, D1, B1, and so many things that we saw in the previous video. This demo is going to continue. So you can see there are various plans with uh, F1, D1, B1. Let's go ahead and choose S1. S1 has a lot of features like the slots, the auto scaling and all the other features. So I'm going to select S1 and we'll go to the deployment step. The next step is the deployment step. So in the deployment, I'm going to set the continuous deployment to disable. I will tell you how to set up this GitHub account and deploy your source code in the upcoming videos. Let's make it as disable. Go to the monitoring session and in the monitoring, I'm going to choose yes for the app insights, which we will see. And that's the default name that was given. Tag is something for your, uh, you know, billing purpose. If you tag a name and value here, based on the billing that comes, it will tell you which one incurred which cost. That's why the tag is. Now we are on the last page, review and create. We have reviewed everything. So click on create. Deployment initiated and deployment is in process. And this is the place you will get deployment. Now deployment is done. Let's go to the resource. So the resource page is loaded. Here you can see all the information about the servers that we just created the web app and the Azure app service plan. So you can see the URL, you can see the FTP locations, the resource group and all the other details. We have already clicked on the URL, which is loading in the next tab. Let's wait for that to complete loading. And you can see what kind of plan that we choose S1 with one slot S1 slash one that you see there, right? And then the app insights is the one which is going to show how our application is getting loaded and who's accessing and all those information. And to the left side, you can see all the information about the servers. Great, so the one that we just created, got created. In the next video, you can see how to create the same thing using the CLI. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.